yeah. That's right. Can't even get it out. Those are mosquitoes. Man, I'm not feeling very strong today. But hey, at least it's not an empty truck. Ugh, grease already. Yuck. First thing I'm doing is changing my gloves. Yuck. What did I roll up to? Oh, someone took the coil. <laughs> they just dumped everything else. But there's still some copper on that. Yeah. On that condenser unit. Woo! That is no joke. That is. <laughs> I'm not feeling very strong. All right. One, two, three. One, one. I'm feeling better. Oh, I think I am. <clears throat> wow. Come with me, my love. <laughs> I do like scrap. I'm already not packing like a champ. I should think about packing properly right up front. Hey, that could be the sides to my truck. I'm not getting any sides. Okay. Is that metal or plastic? Oh, little bit of metal. Scrap delivery service. Pizza. <laughs> this actually looks nice. There's nothing wrong with these at all. Hmm. With the scrap prices so low, I'm like, I'm doing more resale. I sold uh, sold a couple things yesterday on my for sale app. Yeah, I don't like it because I've had like five no-shows, a couple of ghostings where someone's like, yeah, yeah, I'm totally interested, yeah. And then just nothing. No replies. I'm like, are you still interested? Just totally poofed. They ghosted me. These chairs are nice. Oh, I don't think I want to scrap them for... Well, with scrap prices being under three cents a pound, and that was what, 15 pounds? <laughs> so what's that, 50 cents? Not even a dollar's worth of steel. Thanks folks for putting the scrap on the top. 
I appreciate it. Adjusting might not be bad. I don't know. I don't have a bike guy anymore. I don't know. Are you kidding me? So this is from the guy that uh, that. Um, so that I can have his scrappies and I put it right here. So, two trimmers, um, a drill, some other stuff. Yeah. <gasps> Is that some red gold? No way. Scrapper gold. Are you kidding me? This guy is golden. <gasps> wow. All right, let's get this stuff loaded up. So check this out. The guy that uh, that I get the scrap from here, he got those the table and the chairs. So it's perfect trade. Because I don't really like reselling, and he's a resell dude. Yeah, this is good stuff. My bad packing is causing a problem already. The junker on the curb. You know what? I think this thing has, has done a pretty good job, I'll bet, in its life. Dude, I'll bet that's all cast aluminum, too. But I got a mower guy that'll take this. Yeah, he's going to be happy with this stuff. I got myself a problem. Just catch it. This awkward stuff is a problem. this out I don't know if this is gonna to be totally awesome or a complete train wreck what's gonna happen in the next couple of minutes I am meeting with a local reporter yeah she uh, gave me a call and said hey um, all right if you're the scrap and pallet man um, I would like to interview you and uh, talk to you about what you're doing in our community so I don't know if this is a positive thing or a negative thing but I agreed to meet her at 7 a.m at uh, a local cafe here in Sycamore. And uh, so, yeah, which is just a couple minutes away. So I'm kind of glad I started early. All right, wish me luck with this reporter. Uh, the cool thing about being here in Sycamore is that these, so you put in pennies. So if I put in a penny, violation? I'm already in a violation? Uh oh. Alright, so that got me five minutes. Let's put in a nickel. Uh oh. 
It's sticking. It is. All right, I got to put in dimes. What did that give me? Two hours for a dime. Right. Cool stuff. That looks like the most awesome camera ever. Is that an ADD? Okay. Awesome. Are you Paul? Yes, I am. How are you? Sunbeam Glow. Cool. Here is my card, just so you have all my contact information. Okay. Cool. Um, Sure. Yep. So I picked up a couple things off camera. Um, oh, I thought it was, thought it was something else in here. And I'm not sure if I can get it out. Is this all falling? Hmm. Might not be able to get it out. Of course, I'm struggling. <laughs> Actually, I thought this was an end of a, a weed eater or something. So I didn't realize it was that little. So, hi, good morning. Well, I think that uh, that's gonna turn out well. Um, I'll try to link the article in either this video or some up upcoming videos. Um, yeah, so it's, I, I'm, I'm really like pleased about this, so I don't know if you were praying for me or what, but um, yeah, this is going to work, thank you God, you were so good. It might be storming out pretty soon, the blue skies are going away. We better finish up <laughs> right now. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Good timing. Yeah, perfect timing. There you go. Way cool. All right. It's still functional, it just needs tiles. Okay. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Have a great day. All right. Get low going here. All right. 
I think there's a storm coming. Wind's picking up. I'm hearing all kinds of gloomy music. And yes, these cords are insulated copper wire at 32 cents per pound. And this is probably close to a pound. Where's the end? There it is. There's 30 cents. What's in here? It's a fan. Take it. Take the whole thing. Temperature dropped. Wow. I'm like significantly dropped. There's that cord coming out. Snipping right there. It's not a very good truck packing day, that's for sure. Paul, break out your chainsaw or I could just bend it up should bend it up again yeah why not this net is catching me big time what a mess Five dollars of scrap metal here. Stay. The sun is out again. What's up with this weather? Some bed frames. Um, yeah, let's go vertical. Definitely got a mess going here. Yeah, this is definitely the Pinchomatic. Pinchomatic 4500, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this one's too long. All right, anything else good? cord there's a cord cutter snag hmm. two screens these are the steel kind but you know what I'm gonna be hitting the scrapyard soon so why not we'll have them sure why not where am I gonna put them Hitting me. I'm thinking right there. It's such a mess going, it's crazy. Yeah, move this Pinchomatic 4500 out the way. I think we'll be good. Awesome. They taped it closed because they knew this opened up scrap and pallet man could never get it closed again Thanks folks. Where are you gonna go? I'm such a mess Right here <laughs> Perfect All right, let's See how much we weigh Now because I got a mower guy now, so a lot of stuff's not actually gonna come off the truck because I'm going to resell it. 4,400 pounds. What's up, Paul? What is up, my brother? How are you? Good, man. What's going on with you? Uh, just dealing. Man, this 
yard is so much cleaner. I'm digging it. Look at that scrap pile. That's the biggest one I've seen so far. Wow. That's cool because this scrapyard is not selling the scrap at such low prices. They're like, nope, we're gonna hang on to it. Makes sense to me. Get one back, you know? And I know right now someone's gonna say, hey Paul, that sealed unit, that was worth two cents more. All right. And uh, yeah, I would have gotten probably 30 cents more if I'd have taken the 10 minutes to undo that sealed unit. But I didn't, it was a choice. So 4,060, so what is that? It's not even 400 pounds. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm doing the resale stuff. I don't like doing resale stuff, but hey, gots to do what you gots to do. Yeah, I'm not really a willing participant in this whole resale stuff, but got it. So I got the bike, then I'm gonna resell, or at least give it to a, a dad that can work on it because the brakes need to be adjusted and such. And my lawnmower guy is gonna get the two trimmers and the mower. Then I got a bunch of insulated copper wire and then some motors. 
And of course, copper. Yeah. All right, let's go get paid for our shred. You're not going to believe this. This scrapyard has decided to give me preferred pricing. Yeah. So they have upped my tier. And I am now getting five cents per pound instead of three cents per pound. That blows my mind. They said, Paul, you're here um, almost every day. And you bring us a lot of stuff. You bring um, scrap steel and non-ferrous. And because I've been turning in a lot of wire to them. And I haven't recorded everything. I'm just because I'm cleaning out my house, cleaning out my storage unit. It's to me, it's just kind of boring and repetitive. And um, I just need to be able to work fast and knock it out. So uh, yeah, so I got eighteen dollars for three hundred sixty pounds um, at five cents a pound. So eight, yeah, eighteen bucks. That's super awesome. I was not even come close to expecting something like that. Thank you, Lord, for doubling the price for me. Wow. Didn't see that coming, God. God, you were so good. God, I'm just going to ask right now that if there are those that we're supposed to connect with today, that you have us pick up that phone, walk over to their house, knock on their door, and just say hello. If you, if there's some somebody that we're supposed to to reconnect with, that that we might have some issues going on, Lord, I'm going to ask for the help and the strength to to connect. If we have to make some amends, if I have to say that I'm sorry to someone, God, give me the strength to go and just own my part of it. I don't have to bring up their issues. Just have me own my part. In the name of Jesus, amen. So check this out. Contacted the mower guy. I still have the mower and the two trimmers in the back of the truck. Contacted him. And he's like, yeah, I'll buy them. He's like, I'm not sure if we'll be able to pick them up today. Because I've never been to his house. He said, you want me just to drop them off at your house? I'm already in the town that he's living in. Um, and he's like, yeah. Well, first he said, but I, I live in Sycamore. I'm like, I'm in Sycamore scrapping. He's like, yeah, you can drop them by. So, yeah, going to go get some lawnmower money. <laughs> Thank you, God. You are so good. But, you know, it, it's, it's all about us just being of service you know when in doubt do something um and it doesn't have to be perfect and i know sometimes i say the the phrase you know things that are worth doing are worth doing poorly uh in and and i mean that kind of in a funny way because things that are worth doing they're worth doing well they're worth doing they're worth doing poorly they're worth just doing because we're not going to be perfectly good at everything that we do so it's okay to do them poorly it's okay to do them in a learning curve. It's, a, it's okay to do something that we're not actually innately good at. So, and I, so I do mean it. You know, things that are worth doing are worth doing poorly. So, like my scrapping, it's not perfect, but I'm doing it. You know, and I, there, there's always the folks that, that sit back and um, that will criticize, you know, and I always say that uh, being a critic is not a spiritual gift. It's not. Anyone can be a critic. There's no genius in a critic. Never. Anyway, let's go drop some mowers or some trimmers and a mower off before I slam into this UPS truck. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's all good. See, this is what happens when I have coffee. Ping! Oh, I didn't do my shameless merchandise. Yeah, scrap and pallet man, bugs. <laughs> it is kind of shameless, isn't it? It's all good. That's how I make my money. There's YouTube money, there's merchandise money. You guys are awesome with the PayPal. There's resale, there's scrap. Um, am I forgetting something? There's like six, 
they're all small but they're like it's it all works it's all working hmm. I'm, I'm grateful i'm totally